haven't done a cooking video in a long time, and I won't bore you on how to make spaghetti, because that's basically what I've got the ingredients for. So, we're going to make this a little bit later. I just got back from Walmart and figured it's spaghetti night. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got my coffee. Oh, yeah, this is the only coffee I drink. It's called Black Silk by Folgers. My favorite. Very strong. <clears throat> All right. Coffee cup. Just got back from the farm cutting grass. Believe me, a lot of grass. Okay. All that's done. Ah, hold on a second. Most important part. Oh yeah, it's Tom in the kitchen. All right, I'm going to answer a lot of questions. Just stand by, but you know what time it is. Beer 30. Ah, uh, okay. Here's what's going on. And, and I, I read a bunch of comments over the last couple of videos about me switching out from not doing uh, any more handyman videos. There, let, me, let me explain that for a second. When you're on YouTube and you're doing social media, it, it, it becomes like a job. I'm telling you, it, it becomes a job. Like you're always thinking every single day, what's my next video? What's the next content? You know, what subject matter am I going to talk about? Is this going to be entertaining or not? You, if you look at my channel, I've got some really dark, diehard fans on my channel. I want to give a big shout out to Amos, A-M-O-S. You and I have been talking rationally for a long, long time. I respect the videos you got up and the things that you say. Everything that you tell me in the comments you make absolutely is dead on the money. I respect your opinion. I appreciate it. And I want to also say this to all the other subscribers out there that constantly uh, uh, chime in on my videos and offer great opinions and, and some ob objective ideas and also some viewpoints. Now, here, here's a comment that really grabbed my attention. Somebody wrote on my video that I just posted the other day when I announced that I'm not going to do any more handyman videos. It's all going to be strictly uh, about the off-grid farm, that whole thing. And then I uploaded the video about me getting the stickers put on my truck for the new business, Eflin Excavation Company. Okay? There is a method to the madness in the new direction of this channel. I just wanted to bring out this point. Okay, here, here, here's what I'm trying to, trying to do. Because I said in the, one of the videos, over the last three videos I, I uploaded about this topic, that, you know, I want your input. Because the bottom line is this. Here's the deal. Anybody can paint. Anybody can, you know, stain a deck. You know, I think I've shown you guys enough examples of the handyman business that you kind of get the idea of it all, okay? That's the thing. What I'm trying to do is I want to stay not boring because, you know, with what? My channel's not that big, but, you know, a lot of guys are doing a lot better because they're doing a lot of editing. I don't do no editing. Mine's straightforward information. Just what I see and what I do every day, okay? That's what you guys see. All right, and this is what you hear from me, as far as my opinions, my attitude, my whole focus on everything. The off-grid farm got to become important because of that excavator I bought. And remember, I watch so many other YouTubers. Oh, I'm beer thirty. I I watch Let's Dig It '88. I watch Andrew Caprinella up in New York. Over the years that I've been watching their channel, I've been thinking to myself, okay, what's the next business that I want to run and operate and own? And it's less strenuous on me, okay? So the off-grid farm came into play. You know, going out there and not really attacking it like I could, only because I don't have a lack. I don't have the experience or the machinery to pull it off, okay? Now I've got the machinery. I've been 
practicing, and, and I'll lie to you not, for the last two months, ever since I bought that machine, put it out on the farm, I've been practicing how to put on tracks that jump off, how to dig holes, how to bury stuff, how to burn big old pile, uh, you know, uh, fire pits, uh, you know, just gigantic burn piles, and, and learning how to clear land. I'm teaching myself the excavation business, okay? That's what I'm teaching myself. You know, everything that I do out on the off-grid farm comes back to me in other things, like education. You know, how to, how to start an off-grid farm. You know, look at all the stuff I built out there. Look at all the stuff that I put out there. All the deals I've found, the people who've given me free stuff, then I've utilized it out there. Believe me, I utilize everything people give me. Nothing goes to waste. You know that about me. But the direction, the, the question from this subscriber is, what really is going to happen on this next journey? I can't wait to hear what you got to say about it. Here, here's what I want to try to bring across to you guys, all my loyal, loyal, loyal fans. You know, June, uh, Mark, Thomas, uh, God, Willie Childs down in Fedville. Uh, the, the list goes on to so many people that, you know, just watch my channel or are dedicated to the channel. And I appreciate that. This, this whole thing that I'm doing is a journey and an adventure that every day I don't even know what I'm going to do. You know, I have to think about it all the time when I go out there. You know, what's the next step? What's the next project? What's... You know, what's the best way of doing something? So, that is where this whole thing comes around, okay? The whole cycle of this whole thing, okay? Now, I've had a lot of you say, ah, beer 30 again. Say and ask, well, what now? What now? Okay, well, here's what now. Here's what I'm going to do with this channel. I know I know how many people watch this channel just to get motivation in their life and realize that when you get in your 60s and you still have your health about you, you still you still have your body, okay? But you got you got to figure that life doesn't end at 60, my friend. It doesn't end, even though I've had a lot of people tell me I need to retire. I'm going to retire in five years, but I'm not going to really retire, okay? It's going to be a new adventure. I'm going to start the excavation business, and I'm going to use the farm because it's part of my landscaping corporation. Remember, my farm is a corporation, so it's also a designated farm. That in itself, that in itself will allow me Plus, I have commercial liability insurance, and I have a, a landscaping corporation in incorporation within my company. So I can get away with pretty much anything I want to get away with. You know, the bottom line is i got to be careful. The only thing i got to be careful about is taking on jobs that the liability factor is more than a million dollars. Okay? That's what insurance is all about, folks. Okay? I'm insured. Totally insured. And licensed registered, and I'm a registered trademark, okay? So that, to eliminate all those questions you guys had about that. The other thing is that this new journey is to be able to help you guys understand how I think about stuff, shit that I got up here about the way I play taxes. And it's not playing it because it's legal. Everything I do is legal because I go down every single year and I got a, a certified CPA and a certified bookkeeper that handles all my books. Plus, I've got a private attorney on retainer. Okay? That tells me, oh no, you can't do this, you can't do that, you'll upset this county code or this city ordinance, blah, blah, blah. You can't do this shit. Believe me, I've done all the research. Don't think I'm stupid. <laughs> if you ever think I'm stupid, you'd be wrong. That'd be the wrong thing to think. But I think being 61 years old, my next adventure is the farm because eventually the city, we're going to double in size here. This place is insane. Raleigh is fucking insane, okay, with the amount of people coming here and the amount of money coming here. So I'm right in the heart of the best 
economy in the world. Literally sitting in the best economy in the world right here in Raleigh right now. And I'm sitting with a company that is right now on autopilot. Absolute autopilot. Mr. Fix-All is so uh, diverse and, and, ha and, and I have such a large customer base that I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, it just keeps rolling. So now, since that part is, you know, just pretty much taking care of itself, I want to focus, me, the individual, Thomas, I want to focus on the farm because there's so many more challenges out there. And that's what I want to bring you guys along for. Because what I want to try to do is establish the most cheapest off-grid farm in the world. Okay? I said it. I want to create an environment that is so cheap to own and live there that everybody would be shocked how much it costs per month to actually go out there, live, and be happy. And be productive, and make money, and have a corporation, and save on taxes, and also a farm, and all that into one big bundle of <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to tell you there's a method behind this madness up here because there's so much madness up here I'm telling you I've got plans that in the next 5 to 6 to 10 years that I'll go out there and that farm will pay me to show up it'll pay me to show up because of all the tax advantages all the infrastructure all the things that are going to go on there all the things that I'm going to be able to do with that four acres. And I want to bring you guys on the ride with me. You know, the ride of, you know, what's going on up here to figure out how we can make a shitload of money on just four acres and have it incorporated and have all the tax advantages and, and, and just basically go there to make money and have the farm actually produce a revenue source because of the excavation business and everything from X, you know, Eflin, Eflin Excavation Company, that the farm then becomes also an outsourcing for future business. Well, there you go, guys. I, I gave it all to you in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed the information. This is new. This is updated. This is current. This is what's happening with me and Mr. Fixall and Eflin Excavation Company and Stonehenge Farm Incorporation. Okay? Y'all have a blessed day. Leave those comments, thumbs up. Man, smash the subscribe button, please. Smash the bell for future notifications. And I'll be seeing you later. Love you, all of you. You know what's going on. It's a new journey, and let's do it together. Y'all have a blessed day. Tom out of here. Bye.